Pensacola, Florida. So this weekend I was lucky enough to play in the Howler in uh, Mobile, Alabama, so the Nationals event, and it was at Chicxibo Park. Really short and technical, and I had to throw a lot of putters off the tee, so. That got us thinking we wanted to do a video on how to throw putters, when to throw putters, and of course, why even throw them at all. When it comes to why to throw a putter at all, Eric and I both think it's really important to learn this shot because when you do miss a line or if you just miss a little bit and hit a tree, uh, the disc isn't going to fly in the wrong direction nearly as far as if you throw a, a high speed driver. Um, so we call it clubbing down. It helps when you do error that it doesn't err as dramatically as if you were to throw a high speed driver. So along with that, what putters do is they also teach us as we throw. So they will allow us to understand when we do hit a line and we've released the disc correctly and when we've actually made a mistake and missed our line. So putters not only will they help us in the woods whenever we hit trees, but they actually help us learn to throw better angles and release discs as we intend. I really like to teach how to throw a putter sidearm specifically because it shows you your error. Okay, first I want to tell you what I throw for putters and why. Um, for starters, personally, I actually do throw my putting putters, uh, mostly because I really understand the flight of them, and because they're so beat in already, um, hitting a tree or two doesn't change their characteristics for me, I don't think. And these ones are blend wardens, so they're actually a little more grippy than any of the premium plastics, and I like it that way. Um, what I look for in a throwing putter is that grip, especially when it's rainy or wet. Um, I'm just accustomed to being able to really uh, trust my grip on them, especially because I usually fan grip. So we'll talk about that later. So for starters, something I want that's straight, but is still gonna have a stable finish is this Blend Warden. Um, on the other side of the spectrum, I do carry two deputies that are understable. Uh, one is a Blend Plastic prototype from Eric, and the other one I just got from Paige, and it's the um, baseline prime plastic. So this has a little more stability for me right now, um, and this one has a little bit more grip, which I like. They're both understable, and I use them for shots that'll flip up and over to the right. Last but not least, Marshall. Uh, this is also a blend. Can you tell I'm a fan of blend plastic? Um, so this is overstable for me. I can throw it flat, and it's gonna fade out every time. I can trust it, I can throw it hard, I can throw it power grip, I can throw it fan grip, no matter what, it's gonna come left for me unless I really mess something up. For me, my setup is a little bit more simple. Uh, I have two throwing putters. I have the Fusion Warden, which I use for turnovers and dead straight shots. I can even throw some glide hyzer shots with it, but um, really this is a all around incredible putter and is what actually saves me a lot of strokes when I'm in the woods because I know I can rely on it to be dead straight. It allows me to work the line. If I want it to turn, I turn it. If I want it to hyzer, I hyzer it. So the Warden, just useful and an incredible thrower, so check one out. On the other side, I have the VIP Shield. Um, it's very similar to the Marshall um, and what it does for me is it allows me to have that more overstable shot. I can still throw this very straight when I need to, but I can work different lines. When I want a reliable fade after that straight pushing line, I throw the shield. And if I, if I put this on hyzer, I can actually get it to do a lot of more overstable shots. So this is my go-to for those stable shots. When it comes to gripping my putters, I generally use a fan grip. Um, this is actually pretty close to my putting grip, so it's just comfortable, uh, but I tighten it up from my putting grip just so I have a good grasp of the disc and I am angling it in the way I want. I can also move to a power grip, but I rarely do this. I only do this whenever I know I'm having to club down on a mid-range too slow and I don't feel comfortable doing that, but I can murder on uh, a putter and it actually throws the intended shot that I'm looking for. Um, when it comes to actually throwing the disc, I like to think about spinning the disc out. So playing catch and actually throwing other more frisbee-like discs like the Aviator or the Latitude 64 Bite are great teachers of understanding how to spin the disc. 
So they actually teach you to throw your putters even better. When it comes to my grip on my putters, uh, it really does depend on the situation. More often than not, I'm using a really tight fan grip, uh, which means my thumb is really pushed into that top flight plate and my fingers are sprawled out just like I would with a normal putting grip. When it comes to a straight shot, I use my putters a lot in the woods, so I'm going to use a fan grip so I know that I'm going to hit this gap. Um, there are other times that I'm going to want my, disc, my putter to turn over, and I use this shot a lot in the woods when I'm trying to get right or around a corner. Um, and that way if I hit something, it's probably going to just sit and fall in the fairway if it doesn't get around the corner. I do throw my putter sidearm. That's one of my favorite things to do. And I use a two finger grip. And you gotta make sure it doesn't get get caught in your hand. Like I said, these rims are a lot deeper than a normal driver. So um, it's something you gotta consider. But if you just work on it, using a putter sidearm in the woods can save so many strokes. I can't tell you how many times I use it just to get out of trouble. Uh, when you're stuck in a bush, you can, you can reach out and just get your putter in the fairway. Um, that way you're not throwing something really fast, so then it'll skip back into the shul or the woods that you're in in the first place. So I highly recommend learning a putter sidearm. So there is a lot more to throwing putters, but we hope that these tips will at least get you in the right direction to where you can start throwing your putters a lot more on the course and save you some strokes. Now it's your turn. Go out to the field and try out some of these shots. Practice, practice, practice. So thanks for watching. Make sure you guys go check out our Facebook, Whale Pants. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube, Whale Pants. And um, go check out Dynamic Discs, uh, Whale Sacks, and all the other great companies that are trying to go the sport. And of course, be dynamic. <laughs>